Hello, my name is Manuel Correa and I'd like to show you my latest game. Agent Decker is a goal-based deck building game for one player, in which you are a secret agent on its first mission. As you move through the enemy complex, you'll improve your skills and collect better gear, so you can complete your main objective and get out before anyone notices you are there. The components are 54 standard size cards and 2 tokens, and the target audience is 10 and up. There are 5 missions and each takes about 20 minutes to play. In Agent Decker you are a secret agent who's just left spy school and is going to be learning on the field. This is your first mission. Your goal is to locate and rescue a hostage, but first you need to get gear and blend in. Your starting deck is composed of two different cards, Bunch and Hide. Each one gives you one type of resource, Fighting or Stealth. You'll use these to deal with obstacles in the enemy base. Now draw four cards. The obstacles deck represents the enemy base, and the line represents what you can see as you sneak around it. The bottom half of the card represents the obstacle. Here, you can read the name of the card, its type, what it takes to interact with it, and how much it will raise the alarm once it's discarded. The top half shows what you get when you disarm it. For now, your goal is to get a map. To do so, you need to get better at hiding. You'll have to get 6 stealth. The best thing to do right now is to disarm the security camera. For that, you pay the 2 stealth and place it in your discard. Once you run out of cards in your deck, you'll shuffle your discard and it will show up, giving you more stealth than a regular hide card would. That was your first turn. Now you discard the remaining cards from your hand and draw 4 more which you will use in the next turn. At the end of the turn you move one step, so the last card in the line is discarded and a new card will enter the line. Just as you saw it, it saw you, and it gets suspicious. The alarm raises. If it reaches 50, it's game over. As you slide them to the right, check the obstacles for any effects that take place at this point, because they can alter the card order. For example, the patrolling guard moves faster than the other cards. Now, a new card enters the line. It's a guard dog, so it will go to the first person he finds, the guard. Now you're ready for the next turn. What do we have here? Okay, there's another security camera in the line, but we can't afford it now. But, look at this. The patrolling guard is about to leave the line, and it will raise the alarm by 5. We don't need this one to finish the mission, so let me show you what you can do instead of disarming. You can knock them out. That way, when it's discarded at the end of the turn, it won't raise the alarm. Discard the cards you didn't use from your hand. Now that your deck is out of cards, it's time to shuffle your discard to form the new deck. The new cards you've acquired will now start to show up in your hand. As the game progresses, your deck will get better. When you're able to afford 6 stealth, you've completed the first mission and you found the map. Here it is. It says keep, so you keep it on the table, and it gives you 1 stealth for you to use once per turn. Now you progress to mission 2. Take the mission obstacles labeled B and shuffle them along with the line, the obstacles deck, and the obstacles discard. This forms the obstacles deck for mission 2. The new cards will make the game more challenging. Now your goal is to get 6 fighting and the guard uniform. Write down your score for the first mission and reset the alarm. Time to start mission 2. Good luck, Agent. At 54 cards, Agent Decker is the same size of a standard deck of cards, which makes it easy to carry around and set it up if you have a moment to spare. If you're feeling competitive, you can write down how much alarm was raised at the end of each mission and add them up to get your high score. Then you can try to beat that. With its current design, it's easy to expand. I can already imagine other interesting locations Decker could visit in the future. Right now I just want to make this version the best I can so I can submit it to the 2015 solo print and play contest at BoardGameGeek. Where can I get this, you ask? Great question. You can get the cards and rulebook for free at the following link. You can also read about the game's design at its contest thread or on my website. So good luck agent and don't forget to have fun.